Hello, everybody. Welcome to Let's Talk About Adoption Foster Care Podcast. I'm your host, Kevin B., better known as Skeeter. Uh, the day is a special day because this is our 10th episode of having this podcast, and uh, we're just moving forward on educating people, motivating people about foster care and adoption. Now, before we dive in, we want to um, give a shout out to Cassandra Harmon, uh, the author of The Woman's Wardrobe, uh, excuse me, The Power of a Woman's Wardrobe. Um, it's about her, um, you know, about her talking about things that are important to her and important to women. And um, the book is for women and men, and you can learn a lot. Um, the book uh, really brings out some, some good points. Um, very, very informative and also funny too. And, you know, I got a lot of good things out of it. It's a very enjoyable read. So once again, uh, the book is The Power of a Woman's Wardrobe. And you can get that book or get the link to that book if you go on www.livingmyshadows.org, go on the, the caption book and you'll see her book. Um, <clears throat> and um, her name is Cassandra Harmon. Okay, episode number 10. The name of this episode is Building Your House. Building Your House. I know over the last past nine episodes, we have talking about the dra trauma and the uh, PTSD versions and talking about identity and finding your birth certificate and things of that sort. Um, <clears throat> but now we, we, we want, on this type of episode, we want to talk about um, building your house. And what do I mean by building your house? Well, the way I dealt with uh, being in the foster care system and being a adoptee, um, they, they, there was a lot of negativity. There was a lot of negativity in the foster home, uh, abuse on all levels. Uh, uh, there was uh, some identity issues in, in, in uh, being an adoptee uh, in my uh, teen year, teenage years and then stepping out and, 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 and not knowing who I really was and some of them things and, and listening to people telling you that, you know, that I can't do this, you, uh, you can't do this, you're too small for this, uh, uh, your mind is not right. You don't come out of a home that, that have natural parents. I mean, so many things that even my adoptive family have no idea some of the things that I went through because I just kept them things in. You know, um, they, I, they wouldn't understand. And so, you know, um, what I did to, to deal with them emotions is build my house. I call building my house a success. And so I was started building my house. And I took each brick of negativity and I started laying the foundation to my house. So when someone told me I could not do something, that's a brick. When someone told me that, you know, um, it's too bad that, that you don't know your parents, but you should be grateful. I built my brick. I um, mean, built my house using that brick. And I started laying and it, my house became huge. You know, and uh, that was my house of success because every time someone told me that I could not do anything because of the cars that was dealt with me that I had no control of, I said, I'm going to build my house, my house of success. That's what I call it. Ultimately, my house of success. And I start proving to myself that I could be successful in life no matter what people say, no matter how people view me, you know, no matter how... um how many times I had to overcome a certain obstacle or how many times I failed, whether it was failed in a relationship, whether it was failed on a job, whether it was failed as uh, doing a sporting activity or whatever, whether, you know, even down to ping pong. If I lost a ping pong game, I went and practiced and practiced until I got good. And so, you know, um, these bricks of negativity, which I call, help me to be in the position that I am now. Now, with all that being said, that doesn't mean that I still don't have them feelings, the them, them, them PTSD of adoption or, you know, the things that, you know, that I've, that I have endured you know, throughout my uh, 60 years on this earth. That does not mean or does not wash that away. But what it does though, it helps me to take my focus off of all the negativities 
and not feel sorry for myself and not fall into that trap what I call self-fulfillment prophecy. A man thinking so he is. So, you know, sometimes you can, you know, people can tell you things and after a while you start believing it. Well, you know, well, maybe that is true. No, mm -mm, no, not here. So what I did is started taking my focus off of the cards that were dealt with me. They're still in that bag. I can never get rid of them. But I did not let that overwhelm me to the fact that I could not reach my goal. And that's in life, period. No matter what situation you're in, what cars are dealt with you, that don't mean that you have to play the game that they want you to play. That's not an excuse. It's not an excuse at all. You know, I think we have a lot of people that make a lot of excuses because of certain situations. But, you know, staying on the topic of adoptees and, and, and being in the foster care system, because that's what this podcast is about. You know, sometimes we can get caught up with the I can'ts, but I'm here to tell you that you can, that you can. You know, um, hopefully, you know, the, 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 the two cats that we had on in the last past two weeks kind of like touched on that a little bit. Um, we're going to have some more guests that, uh, that, that are very talented and very successful. Uh, but, you know, they are adoptees and they carry the baggages that we carry, but they did not allow, did not allow their circumstances to overtake them. And that's what this podcast and this episode is all about, is building your house, building your house of success, be motivated, don't succumb to the negativity, but at the same time, be educated and be aware of what is going on around you and being able to uh, be that beam of light and hope to people that are coming up in the system, you know, um, and, 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 go, and, and experience some of these feelings. And the more uh, we start sharing our thoughts and podcast shows and, and uh, blogs and things like that, we're building up a community to educate uh, those new uh, adoptee parents or those individuals that are taking foster ki uh, kids in that listen we need help but don't rob us of our identity don't rob us of who we are um, we are grateful but we also at the same time have other situations that need to be dealt with and hopefully some of these organizations can take that into consideration or however they have started taking that into consideration that, hey, listen, okay, uh, yes, thank you for taking this kid in, um, but here we need to, you know, either follow up on an individual with therapy and things like that and don't rob them of their identity and don't tell lies, you know, all these different things. And so that house that you're building up, you know, will, you know, flourish. You know, and so, you know, that's what I want you to take away um, from this from this episode is don't let them win. Build your house, use the negativity bricks and focus on whatever you want to achieve in life because you can do that. Everything that you want to achieve in life, you can do that. But you got to put the work in. Nothing's easy. Nothing's handed to you as we know. Nothing's handed to us. Already, we already behind the power code curve, but what makes us weak, or makes or, or, or the things that has has that we had to deal with, actually makes us stronger. Adoptees, foster care kids are one of the strongest individuals in society because of the things that they had to go through, and so with that, you use that to your advantage. That's all I'm saying. So with all that being said, uh, we're going to let you go, let you enjoy your day. We don't like to stay on too long. Um, we should have a guest next week. I'm not going to say who it is at this particular time. Uh, we're going to get that confirmation, and we'll throw something out on the, uh, on the social media outlets to let you know uh, the name of the episode and the person that's coming on. So with all that being said, remember, you can be strong. You can do anything you want to be do. do and you can be anybody you want to be. Just got to put the work in. Build that house. Take care. Peace.